Hi everybody. Um, my name is Becky. If you haven't uh, seen me before in any of our little hump day how-to videos, welcome. Thank you for joining us on our second attempt of the art of accessorizing. So we're back at one of our clients' condos here in Jacksonville Beach. They were gracious enough to host us and let us show you how to accessorize. Um, today we're going to be looking at a bookshelf. You can see that I have left one of these blank and we're going to fill that in together and talk about some of the ways that we think through things like this as a designer and pass along some tips and tricks that you can definitely use to help you with everyday decorating and then also all of your holiday decorating that's coming up. So first thing I want to show you is kind of just um, how we start the process. So we gather things. So this is things you may have around your home already or things you gather when you're shopping and we kind of categorize them. So here in this first little area, we have kind of objects. So these are things that aren't necessarily functional, but they are pretty and interesting and a lot of times textural or colorful. Um, you can gather kind of picture frames as one thing. You can see we have a slew of vases here. Uh, vases come in all different shapes, sizes, heights, materials. So they're a really fun way to mix up um, some different looks. We also gather books. So now books will become one of your new best friends when you're accessorizing a bookshelf or just accessorizing throughout your house. I'm not talking about your paperback John Grisham novels. I'm talking about hardback, pretty coffee table books. Now some of these we have found from kind of resale stores and things like that, perhaps even Goodwill. So you don't need to spend a fortune on beautiful coffee table books. Definitely have a few of those and if they are gonna be on the coffee table, pick some interesting ones that you like. But the ones for your bookshelves, just take those old covers off of your hardback books. Do not leave the covers on, that is not attractive. If we're talking about decorating, we're talking about making it pretty. So take those covers off, look at the spines. The older, the better, um, keep it interesting. So you can see we have a stack here already, and these are just kind of random books that help add height to our display. So that is one of the things we're looking to do. Not only stack them up, like you would see in a library, we're talking about using these as a functional accessory in our display here. So we need a little bit of height, we add some books. Um, you can see it also adds color and a little bit of interest as well. I'm gonna show you kind of where we started on this one. We found this amazing piece of driftwood. So we added that to the top of this bookshelf to give it a little more height and a lot of interest. It also is very uh, relevant to our theme. We're here in Jacksonville Beach, this is something that is related to the coast and actually found here. So um, you can see we've done more of a coastal theme in this entire condo. So a lot of these things are related to something our client loves. It's related to our local area. So you can kind of pick a theme or you can just pick things that are personal to you um, and that you find beautiful. The next thing we added up here was a glass vase. This kind of um, does a couple of things for us. It balances the shelf in general because we have a lot of uh, stuff going on over here so this adds a little bit of interest to this side it also provides a really good contrast of materials so you can see our natural wood with kind of our clear blue glass so it really provides an interesting mix of materials you can see what we did down here was balance the top with what we have going on down here so we have some other blue glass down here along with a smaller piece of driftwood so you really provide a nice balance and harmony between what we have on the top and what we have on the bottom. So your eye kind of starts down here and goes up there or vice versa. But one of the things you want to do is keep it interesting so that your eye kind of moves around the space without necessarily getting stuck somewhere. So we'll talk about how we do that. I'm gonna work on this shelf and kind of um, tell you what I'm doing as we go. Some beautiful little vases. Now one thing I'll tell you is if you are someone that has a lot of smaller items and collect little tchotchkes and things like that, they are more powerful in a group. So limit the number of small collections that you have, but if you have pieces that coordinate together, anytime you group them together, they provide more power and strength in numbers to a certain extent. This becomes a really focal point versus if I just had this little guy sitting by himself, he would look kind of sad and lonely. Picture frames, we clearly need to get them some pictures, but they are a great way to personalize your space. And I know that people love pictures. I have pictures all over my house. So, you know, find some beautiful picture frames that do something. In this space, we've kind of echoed the white color over here so it keeps it light and bright. 
it also brought in different material. Here we have kind of glass and ceramic, whereas here we have white and then we have a stone. So we've got a really interesting mix of materials. Um, you can also see that the height has changed. So your eye kind of moves up and down and over, um, which is nice. Your eye wants to move through the space and kind of settle on each thing for a moment without getting stuck. So that's what we're trying to do here. I'm going to move to one of our big old book stacks because I don't have a lot of other really high things that I want to use on this side. I'm going to go ahead and use some books to add some height for me. You can see again, we found spines that have the right colors for this space, so it also just coordinates as far as that goes. And we've added a nice little coastal shell that has a lot of interesting texture. So it's a really fun kind of mix. Now, I wanna tell you, don't be afraid to play. I think everyone is so scared of accessorizing because you think you're gonna mess it up. You won't mess it up. Give it one crack, take a picture, because you might end up loving the first one best, and I, I will tell you, it's really hard to go back from memory and try to remember where you had everything. So snap a photo and then try again, play with it, see what happens. Um, one other tip I wanna give you, is you can see here, I kind of have groupings and we have almost like a set of three. If you see on the next shelf, I did not repeat the same thing. So I don't have three across. If you did three groupings of things across on every shelf, it would look way too consistent and kind of heavy in those areas without looking like there's any flow between the shelves. So you can see here what we've done is group an area here and kind of group an area over here. So it almost goes three, two. And then down here we have a little bit more spread out. It's a little more fluid, but it's almost a grouping of three. One other thing I wanna show you is how easy it is to mix it up. So we have a few little orange accessories here in honor of fall. So I wanna show you how easy, just using our same shelf that we did, how easy it is to go ahead and just mix something in for fun. So whether that's your fall decorating or Christmas decorating, or just because you add a new pillow to the room and you wanna make it interesting, it's really easy and fun to do. So again, don't be scared. Just go ahead and play. I swapped out one little frame and now we already have a nice little pop of orange going on. And I can do that over here, much the same way by adding a book. Now I know that's just one shelf, but if we did that throughout and sprinkled in some little pieces of interest with different shades of orange, maybe some brown, maybe some red, you could really see how we can really change the entire look. Now your eye goes to the color. So that's another tip for you. When you have a, a high contrast of colors or colors that are opposites on the color wheel, they will attract more attention and it will become more vibrant versus more restful. With our blue watery color palette, we have blues, whites, and colors from nature. It kind of all recedes and becomes very quiet. You can see we pop in something like the orange and all of a sudden you've got these real bright pops of color that become a little more vibrant and colorful and happy. So it's just something to keep in mind. It's so easy to do. Two little pieces change the whole look. but. Um, if you have any questions for us, definitely um, hit us up on our Facebook page, comment for us, um, and we'll be happy to get back to you. One more tip for you, check out pictures. Don't be afraid to search through House or Pinterest or look online for ideas for bookshelves that maybe coordinate with some of the things you have. They can go by theme, there's um, all different ways to do it. So again, there's no wrong way, don't be afraid to play, but use some of our tips and the principles of interior design to help you. Balance, harmony, contrast, color, things like that. Keep those in mind, gather all your things, and then have fun playing. Thank you.